Hello everybody, and welcome to the Forty and Slip Bedtime Stories. Tonight, sociology professor John Salter Jr. tells us about his very close encounter with what he calls friendly aliens in 1988. He and his graduate student son John III were heading to Mississippi from North Dakota and traveling through Wisconsin. Professor Salter was scheduled to present a paper at the American Culture Association gathering on civil rights and self-defense. They say they were in La Crosse, Wisconsin when the abduction happened. Salter says amnesia engulfed both of them and doesn't remember exactly how he and his son were abducted. They were still conscious and somehow they were gently but firmly forced off the highway onto a very narrow and extremely rough road, Salter explained. That's when they saw two or three small humanoid figures climbing up on the back bumper of Salter's Ford pickup. He described them as being four to four and a half feet tall, with large heads and large quasi-slanted eyes. He said the beings were pleasant, and he could tell they didn't intend to harm anyone. Their actions are quite positive, he explained. While I think it's possible that there may be some experimentation involved, I think this is ethically and honorably done and to good ends. According to the professor, there were six or seven small aliens and one taller humanoid who was about the same size as a typical human man. The taller one seemed to be the leader. His features are more as we would use the term human, and he may well be a mixed blood, Salter said. The aliens took the two men through the woods, up a ravine, and over a ridge, and inside a vessel that was in a large clearing. Salter and his son remember a bright room with white lights and a blue glowing panel. An implant is placed very carefully up into my right nostril and well beyond, Salter recalled. There is now an injection in my neck at the thyroid area, and then an injection into my upper central chest, he added. Salter estimated the encounter lasted about an hour and a half. But despite what you'd expect, this was not a horrifying experience. The aliens and humans were even sad when it was time to part ways. I feel an extremely strong, poignant sense of farewell toward the tall figure, sensing equally strong reciprocity, Salter reported. His emotional and intellectual reactions are like ours, sharp intelligence, good-natured, smiled a great deal, eager, very interested in things, and sad at parting. Salter and the tall humanoid telepathically tell each other they'll see one another again in another place, in another time. The leader walks them back to their pickup truck and the father and son watch the UFO, brightly lit, fly diagonally up through the darkened clouds and beyond.